Uh, good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel PSON at Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto and today we will be talking about coordinate geometry pure mathematics 2 topic 2 and I will be explaining example 12 which happens to be on page 37 and the question says the points P and Q lie on a circle with center C. This is the circle as shown in the diagram. P and Q lie on a, on a circle with center C. This is P, this is Q with coordinates minus 7, 1, 3, minus 5 respectively. And M is the midpoint of PQ. We know how to deal with that. The line L passes through M and C, M and the center of the circle, of course, find the equation of the circle. This one is a straightforward because if we, uh, we find the equation of the line L, not the equation of the circle, the equation of the line L, this one, we need to realize a few facts that any line that is passing through the center of the circle must be bisecting a chord into two equal parts and it meets the chord at 90 degrees so there is perpendicularism and there is there is perpendicularism there and there is equal portion that means the midpoint let us first of all establish the coordinates of the midpoint <clears throat> the coordinates of the midpoint point m is given by x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 of course the coordinates of those particular lines so minus minus 7 um, plus 3 over 2 and then uh, minus 1 um, plus minus 5 that means minus 5 over 2 this gives us minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4 minus 4 over 2 is minus 2 minus 2 and this is minus 6 over 2 minus 3 so the coordinates of point n is minus 2 minus 3 that is given if that is the coordinate of minus 2 minus uh, minus 3, we can easily get the gradient of PQ, which is perpendicular to the gradient of L. So the gradient of PQ is given by change in Y, which we can already see, minus 1, minus, minus 5, all over, my, minus 7, minus 3, which is 4, over minus 10, which is minus 2, over 5 which is minus 2 over 5. What we now need to understand is the gradient of L. The gradient of L, which is supposed to be perpendicular to this, is obviously 5 over 2. And since L passes through M, which is coordinate minus 2 minus 3, we can easily get the, the, the equation of L uh, having found this approach of course y minus y1 is equals to m x minus x1 that is how we get the equation of a straight line so y uh, minus 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 3 is equals to m which is um, 5 over 2 x uh, minus minus 2 which is just that and the equation of uh, L is happening to be y is equals to 5 over 2x um, plus 5 minus 3, that means plus a 2. And that is the equation of L. Uh, having said that, how do we get plus 2, by the way? If you multiply 5 over 2 times 2, you get 5. When 3 gets over, it becomes minus 3. So 5 minus 3, we get a plus 2. And that is 
the answer to part A of that particular question. What about part B? Part B, we are told that given that the y coordinates of C is negative 8, the y coordinates of C is negative 8. We don't know the we don't know the x. We don't know the x. We are supposed to find the, <coughs> the x coordinates. But C happens to be on L. C happens the same point C, which is the center of the circle. It also happens to be on line L. That means it will satisfy the equation of L. So there we are. So uh, since C is also on L, it satisfies it satisfies y is equal to 5 over 2x plus 2. And that means that means we can use the coordinates given the x the y coordinates of c is minus 8 so since we have uh, minus 8 is supposed to be equal to 5 over 2 x which is unknown plus 2 and what is this we are saying if we make x the subject of the formula 5 over 2 x is equal to minus 10 because it's minus 8 minus 2 and at the end of the day x becomes minus 4 because it is minus 10 times 2 over 5 x becomes minus 4 hence shown so we are supposed to show that the x coordinates of c is we are supposed to show that the x coordinates of c is minus 4 and this is just what we have shown in that particular question in that part of the question that we have been able to show that the x coordinates of c is negative 4 let's go to part c of the question let's go to part c of the question and we need to know what is it that we are expected to say or to give but she says find an equation of the circle equation of the circle and i want us to visit the diagram the equation of the circle is not so much of a problem because we have the center we have the center minus four minus eight and we know that the equation of the circle is given by x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Now that we have a and b which is minus 4 and minus 8, we need to get the r. How do we get the r? The radius, we can only evaluate that it could be from c to q. That is the radius. And the dimension or rather the magnitude of the radius is obviously and generally given by the formula that um, let's say cq is the radius and the size of the cq is given by of course the square root because we are going to use the pythagoras theorem x1 x1 minus x2 x x1 uh, minus um, x2 rather we can talk about x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared we have seen this formula before and um, what do we say now we need to consult we need to consult widely as far as we are talking because uh what is x2 it could be 3 what is x1 it could be minus 4 and therefore cq is the root of 3 minus 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 4 squared plus y which is minus 5 minus negative 8 squared c 
CQ, which happens to be the radius, is equals to the root of 7 squared, which is 49. Um, this is plus 9. Of course, minus 5 plus 8 is a 3. 3 squared is a 9. And we are going to have the root of 58. The radius is the square root of 58. So, R squared is the root of 58 of cos squared, which is easily 58. That is R squared. So, the equation of the circle happens to be um, x minus minus 4 minus minus 4 squared plus y minus negative 8 squared is equals to r squared which is 58 and at that particular point we can say that we have realized the equation of the circle please note uh, that question was not straightforward we had to use a lot of uh, information uh, some of which we can revisit and talk about perpendicularism of any line passing through the center and the chord bisecting it into two equal portions m becoming the midpoint and of course of most importance the radius cq is always obtained by using the pythagoras theorem because we talk about that squared plus that squared is equals to that squared that is very true but to shorten that we talk about x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and the entire square root is over here and that's how we realize that the equation of the circle is x plus 4 plus y x plus 4 squared plus y minus or y plus x squared is equals to 58 yes part a is here part b has been realized and again part c is realized over there again visit my youtube channel please subscribe widely and let us work together all right